Neil, and this is episode 2 of Time of Oblivious. And today we are going to be reviewing a new game by Raven? Raven Software, yes. Raven Software called Singularity, which is rated M, and is a multi-platform game for the PS3 and the Xbox 360. Yeah, so one beat off the storyline, the very well-written, well-designed storyline. It was just like our first episode of whatever game we reviewed, I can't even remember it. Oh, Alpha Protocol. The storyline is very well thought out, very well written. It has its good plot twists, that's in every good storyline. But there's something interesting about this game that makes it stand out. There's no storyline at the very beginning. You're just kind of dropped into the game. Pretty much. Like you're in a helicopter and all of a sudden, boom! It blows up. Else. Boom, it blows up, and then you're stranded on an island. And you just kind of go around, meet other people that are survivors. We can't really give away the whole storyline. But, alright, so something went bad on this island. You go around, meet people that are survivors, and you just take orders from them. And there you go, you discover the storyline as you go. Yes, and something about the storyline is that it will remind you of other games. Time Shift, Bioshock, Bioshock 2, Fear 2, Call of Call Duty, and... Left 4 Dead 2. Left 4 Dead 2, yes. Because you are fighting humans, but the other things you're fighting. Like, I don't know how to describe creatures. Yeah, actually, we don't. They're not necessarily anything. They look like zombies, but they're not. So, we don't know what they are. Alright, well, moving on. I guess we should probably talk about the game now. Um, Alright, so, the graphics, all I have to say is, wow, this is what we've really come to expect from a next generation game. It's completely up to date. The light dynamics and the shadows, the uh, for multi multi images and on screen one screen is very well done. The frames per second rate is fabulous. Yes, There's absolutely no screen lag in any part of the game. So from what we've seen so far, well, yeah, we haven't done some extreme stuff yet, but it's really a good game. Um, the AI, very actually, I'm not sure what the a creature that aliens or whatever they are is supposed to be like this, but. They seem pretty smart. Definitely the tickers are small buggy things, that don't know what they are called. They remind the tickers from Gears of War. They're like, um, you know in Halo 3, I just called them the fatties, but when you shot the big guys and they blew up and all those little bugs flew out, that's what these guys are. Yeah. They get near you and they blow up. It's basically the same thing. So I guess Halo's in the mix too. Yeah, in some way. So this game is just like, kind of a rebirth of a whole bunch of different games. But it makes it in a fun way. It's very puzzle based, even though it's a first person shooter, lots of blood and gore. Very puzzle based. Um, it's quite entertaining. There's only a few levels, there's nine. Nine levels almost every stage. So we're guessing. About an hour each level, there's a few boss fights, which are quite challenging actually. Yeah, it will last you a long time. This game will involve, involve a lot of gameplay and a lot of hours. Even though there's only a few levels, it's there's a lot of hidden stuff to go around and find. There's a lot of trophies. Not a lot of them are hidden. So, you know what you're looking for. But, there's a there's a nice free roaming aspect to this game, even though it isn't really free roaming. Um, there's lots of hidden stuff, lots of ammo, lots of weapon packs. So, you're never... While we're on the topic of weapons, actually, I have a one to complain about this game. There's not enough weapons, actually. Yeah, there's only a few. We've counted six so far. We're four or five hours into the game. We've only counted six weapons. Yeah, if you exclude the TMD, which we will talk about later. So there's the assault rifle, the shotgun, the pistol, the sniper, the uh, seeker, which is my favorite gun, and then there's and this the rail, rail gun. gun. Yeah, which is pretty. Well, um, it's, it's, pretty it's pretty useless. The rail gun is not really worth anything. I I I prefer to use a pistol, but all right, well. Oh, okay. It's TMD? TMD, yes. I really love this game for one reason. The TMD. The t TMD stands for Time Manipulation Device, which is where the time shift aspect comes in. This game is based around you being able to control time. You so, fast forward up, fast forward or rewind. So you're basically wearing a glove, and you pick up energy as you go along the game, and you can use it to fast forward time, rewind time, slow or stop, um, pick up objects, throw objects, etc. And basically the force, the yeah. force field. I call it the modern day force. 
like from Star Wars. This is the modern day forest. It's pretty sick. Oh, well, there's Star Wars too. Jeez, this is a whole bunch of games. Yeah. Um, but yeah, the TMD is possibly the most fun thing that I've played with in a while. Um, Alex has been mostly playing, I've been watching and observing, but it's hilarious what you can do with it. <laughs> One thing I want to give you a hint is that soon enough in the third level, you get something called the deadlock. It is amazing. Basically, it stops time, or actually slows down time. If you shoot someone in the face, wait till time stops and see his face obliterate. Yeah, it's pretty it's amazing. It's exactly <laughs> what we're doing right now. <laughs> uh, it's pretty funny. Um, but yeah, this game overall, I really like it a lot. Did we miss anything? Uh, not the multiplayer. Oh yeah, the multiplayer. Thank God. I'm more of a multiplayer guy. But there's multiplayer, but I'm disappointed in it. There's only two game modes. There is Extermination and Creatures vs. Humans, which is both of them actually not that fun. Yeah. They will occupy you because it's, it's very challenging. Yeah, it takes about... It entire, takes real skill, actually. Yeah, it takes real skill. It's not like Call of Duty, where you can sit there and shoot someone in the, in the leg a few times, they'll die. It takes like almost a full clip of bullets to kill one person. Or if you're an alien or creature, whatever you are. Yet to actually attack, it's called involved strategy. Yeah. So this game, as I said, it's largely puzzle-based. So, and that involves multiplayer as well. You need to strategize and take down your opponents the least amount of bullets possible. Yes, and another thing with multiplayer, there's involve sp special ability, there's teleportation, there's shields, there's this... <laughs> it's pretty cool. This vomit thing, I don't know what it is. Which actually. comes from effort into, I don't know, it like vomits stuff at you and it takes away your HP. I don't know what that's about, but it's pretty funny. Yeah, there's also healing. Yeah, which you're a medic. Or yeah, which priest, is useful. or whatever you want to call it. Which is useful. But yeah, I think that's that all. Let's hear about it. I recommend you buy it, honestly. Yeah, same here. I'm probably going to buy it. Right now we just rented it so we can get a feel for it. But I'm definitely going to buy this game by the end of the week. I give it a 4.5 out of 5. I give it a 4. It's missing some aspects. I... But yeah, so that's it from Time Oblivious this week. And we will see you next week. But first, it's going to add. If you want us to review anything you want, but in the comment box, we want, and we also want to hear your opinion on whatever games we review. So yes. if you have a different view, if you think the game's terrible or you think it's great, leave why or why not, and we're always open for suggestions. So yep. if you have anything to add to us to make our show better, um, leave us inbox, comments, whatever, and we will get back to you. Yep. Thanks for watching. And we will see you next episode.